Hi, my name is Arash and in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Flexroot Designer and show you around the product. Flexroot Designer is an advanced business logic authoring environment allowing you to visually model, validate, test and simulate, debug and execute and deploy your business logic, including business rules, decisions, flows and many other types of logic that you can find in your applications and business processes. When you launch Flexroot Designer, it will show you a welcome page at the beginning, which at this page you can view a list of online contents that we have created for you, and also you can view a list of recently opened projects. Because in this video I'm going to show you around the Flexroot Designer, so let's go ahead and open a project called Car Insurance using DMN. If you have installed Flexroot Runtime on your machine, Flexroot Designer tries to link the selected project to the latest version of Flexroot Runtime automatically for the simulation, execution, and debugging activities you may need to do on the project. Flexroot Designer is divided into a couple of different areas or windows. This area is called Project Explorer. This allows you to view project's logic file and items and perform management tasks on them. It loads all the logic for your project in a hierarchical view and allows you to organize logic document and items into multiple nested folders. For example, it allows you to open, rename or delete logic documents or move them to a different projects folder. Here is the area that is called Properties window. Use this window to view and change the design time properties of selected objects that are located in Editors and Project Explorer. The Properties window displays different types of editing fields and forms, depending on the needs of particular property. You can find the properties are organized in different groups in the Properties window. The other area is called Document Area, which is located in the middle section of Flexroot Designer. When you open a document, it will be displayed in the middle section. To open a document, you can simply select it from Project Explorer and double-click on the selected item. Each type of document will have its own editor, allowing you to interact with the document appropriately. For example, a decision model and notation type of logic has a DMN editor, or for a decision table logic, you will have a spreadsheet-like table editor. By default, at the left side of the screen, you have a toolbox. Toolbox displays a list of available commands for an active open document in the middle section. Toolbox displays only items that are appropriate to the type of logic you are working on. You use Toolbox to simply drag an item from it and drop it into your logic document for modeling. Drag and drop functionality to model business logic is provided by Toolbox, makes it super easy to model business logic visually. At the bottom of Flexroot Designer, you will have a couple of other windows. They show you other information regarding the active document or project depends on what task are you doing in Flexroot Designer. For example, if you are validating a logic document, message list will be displayed. Or if you are running a logic, a parameters window or output window will be located in this area. Now that you are a little bit familiar with Flexroot Designer, it is worth mentioning Flexroot Designer is fully extensible. You can write plugins for Flexroot Designer to change the existing behaviors, introduce new type of document logic, introduce new editors for a logic or a property, or you can add your custom commands in an existing toolbox. In this video, we learned about different areas or windows of Flexroot Designer, like Project Explorer, Properties Window, toolbox and some other contextual windows like messages list or output window and we gave you a hint about extensibility and plugin based behavior of Flexroot Designer.